Hi guys, it's October 13, 2018. I want to start this video by saying to those few who misinterpreted the laughing, the comments underneath that video that I had posted on the young reporters driving through Panama City, it sounded as if they were pretending to cry. Oh my God, we have to drive on the grass. People are riding bicycles walking around and reporters who were well ostensibly driving around to try to get the information out about the damage the destruction of this storm showing very little destruction and then equating it with Katrina and Andrew I, I guess that some people just don't understand nuance or a distinction or difference no one was laughing at the people harmed by the destruction. And no one was saying that there was no destruction. People were laughing at the reporters who were clearly not quite right in terms of their reporting. And yeah, it seemed pretty obvious that they were acting, they were not genuine human beings reporting on a storm's damage. And it's unfortunate that some took it as if we were saying that there was no destruction, nobody suffered, and laughing at those who had to suffer the damage. Look, I think anybody who has watched my videos for a certain amount of time understands, and I've said it, that even if one person has to suffer the consequences of these weather events, that that one person feels the destruction and it it literally turns people's lives into a nightmare you know I'm not going to sit here and convince or tr even try to convince anybody that I actually do genuinely care and I know what it feels like to lose everything so um, the response that I got from that video was in response to those reporters and nothing else. So I am going to link below to the two new videos that I've seen on In Truth by Grace's channel. Um, targeted strike and cover up, absolutely. And she points out how the information that she got and documented in one of her videos has been changed by Intellicast. When we live in a digital world, it is very easy to erase current history. And that's exactly what Intellicast did. So in Truth by Grace, says this should scare everyone, and it should, but we have known for years that this is what they do. This is the world that we are living in. But this targeted zone of 23 miles, in Truth by Grace, calculates that the only Hurricane winds were within this 23-mile zone, Panama City, Tyndall Air Force Base, and Mexico Beach. Outside of that 23-mile zone, there was no hurricane winds. In the 23-mile zone, they had 86-mile-per-hour winds, and which, in truth by grace, points out, well, those 86 mile per hour winds lasted for seven minutes. 
I think she said seven minutes. Five minutes, seven minutes. That's it. Something very strange happened with this manufactured storm. I'll also link below to these two videos that she had posted, Hurricane Michael and the U.S. government cover-up. It really is unfortunate that so many choose willful ignorance because the choosing of willful ignorance, well, your ignorance might be bliss for a little while, but eventually that ignorance destroys you. Now, this seven-minute period of hurricane winds that targeted that 23 mile per hour uh, 23 mile zone these winds can be created by scalar technology and I have posted videos on scalar technology scalar Electromagnetic weapon, weapons explains a lot of the fires in California as well as a targeted hit of hurricane winds at 86 miles per hour within a 23 mile zone. Uh, scalar technology being used to control weather, um, scalar weapons Australia's mega regions got normalcy bias, give it up, we are at war. And that was with their um, a fire in Australia that looked very similar to the fires that we have seen in California and Portugal and, oh God, in, in Canada, um, in Tennessee, in many areas, directed energy weapons. Um, scalar beams which I point out and not entirely sure that they were scalar weapons, but the colliding of these scalar beams can cause an awful lot of destruction in that targeted area where they collide. Scalar beam weapons in the hands of the most evil gets all of us a horrifying reality to live and that is what we are living. Scalar weapons, scalar wave technology, uh, the evil uses of scalar energy, and another one on scalar weapons. So, if you don't know anything about scalar technology, uh, you can click on the link below to this playlist. Or it's not a playlist, it's just what I got from searching on my channel or put in scalar technology or scalar weapons in the YouTube search bar and you will come up with an awful lot of awful lot of um, information videos on scalar weapons and scalar weapons that was Tesla's discovery and it was none other than John Trump Donald's uncle who was selected to go in and review Tesla's papers to see what Tesla had discovered. And it was John, Donald's uncle, who told his nephew, Donald, the world will be a scary place. I'm sorry guys, I was just interrupted by a neighbor, so I don't even remember what I was talking about, but scalar weapons explains a lot. And yes, Donald knows about scalar technology. So, I've been uh, looking at some of the videos that have been passed along to me by subscribers. Uh, this video, uh, a man is being interviewed on American intelligence media and they're talking about how this was a direct hit of MAGA territory to keep people from voting. Well, um, I'm not too sure about that. 
again, I want to preface that, you know, if anybody can come out and say that, and this is what this video, this guy is saying, he, he, he knows, he knows somehow. Well, none of us know. We can only guess, we can speculate, we can try to obtain as much information about events that occur, and then we speculate as to the reasons why they brought about these events. Now, it is October 13. We still have several weeks until the voting. And this guy is claiming that all of these people won't be able to vote. It, the, the destruction occurred in a 23-mile zone. So, oh, more neighbors. Okay, hang on. Well, I'm back, and I can't remember where I was. There is, There are two things that, in truth, by grace, and I have in common. A love of truth, and we don't make fancy videos. But clearly, we both feel the, compelled to speak the truth in the face of lies. Um, so, this targeted hit of the MAGA territory. There's a lot of MAGA territories, and I just don't. I can't quite wrap my head around that this is the reason why and we have weeks before the election day why it is that these they said here that the schools are destroyed so they can't vote look they can put up those voting uh, booths anywhere. There's no reason why these people in this area, 23 mile zone, can't vote. All right. Um, climate science behind Hurricane Michael and the threat of future storms. Climate facts, Hurricane Michael. Oh, climate change denying governor. There is democracy now. Amy Goodman pushing the climate change global warming agenda, but you can see with every storm, there's Al Gore comes out and Amy Goodman comes out. Yes, Trump's deregulation proposals, literally insane when we have these huge storms, but it's not huge. 23 miles on, got hit. But you will see there are an awful lot of mainstream media as well as um, alternative media claiming that it was the panhandle that got hit. The panhandle. Claiming that all of the panhandle got hit. But what they show you is Panama City and Mexico Beach. And that's exactly in truth, by Grace's zone, 23 miles. But if you watch these videos, I don't know what hit this area, frankly. Um, I find it, it, it's almost like the fires, targeted hits, and This is um, Panama City. Oh, Mexico Beach. This is the area that they're saying was completely devastated. But it's not completely devastated. Now, this was, th th these homes are sitting right smack on the um, Gulf. You would expect, actually, these homes to be gone and these homes and again I don't want to have to preface this over and over again 
I am not saying there was no destruction. Clearly there was. But it's odd destruction for a hurricane when you see homes that are sitting on the Gulf. And this was the area that got hit. But some of the homes survived. And some, well, their roof survived. But the roof, the home collapsed and the roof drops. The um, Georgia, South Carolina also got hit. Georgia had three tornadoes in Perry, Roberta, and another area that I can't think of the name. But I was in the target zone, and we had a beautiful day instead of having any remnants of Hurricane Michael. This is Tyndall Air Force Base, and I slowed down the drone footage. Interesting that this drone they're showing this video of the Air Force Base, and it's fast. I mean, it, it, I wonder why they posted it at such speed. Well, when I slowed it down, there doesn't seem to be much damage to the Air Force Base, but they're saying that the Air Force Base was destroyed. Okay, some uh, destruction of a roof and here too. They said so many aircraft was destroyed. Well, three right here are still in their positions with their little miniature palm trees. That's cute. This one flipped over. You do see a lot of trees down, but again, I'm going to say you do not need hurricane winds to bring down trees now because so many are now dying and they're weak. And this drone footage is really only capturing this one area. The drone then repeats and you see the same. I repeated it because they go through other stuff and I didn't want to get to it, but they just repeat the same view. But the cars are there and you know many of the structures don't seem to be damaged at all. This house not damaged at all. Maybe the windows are out, I can't see. Um, but it does not seem to be devastated as they are claiming. Now, this kind of destruction is so weird, it's really hard to even speak to. You know, if this was just a regular hurricane and we didn't have so much deception and lies and exaggeration, uh, then it would be easy to speak to what we see. Um, I don't know. So even Mexico Beach was not fully destroyed, as you can see in some of the drone footage, there is a lot of destruction. Mexico Beach, particularly, Panama City, far less destruction. Um, oh, sorry, if you hear noise in the background, it's the cats who have decided make my apartment their home. Flooding in Virginia, five people died. Okay, I got a comment from someone in Virginia who said that they were having flooding before the hurricane hit. And there have been some landslides, nothing horrific that I have seen yet. This is Panama City that they're claiming has been destroyed 
and now thousands of people are missing Look at these homes. Many are intact. And this is the area that they're claiming has been destroyed. Targeted hits, look at these. You know, damage to this trailer, damage to this. This one looks completely fine. Trees down. Well, that's expected now. Um, but then, you, you know, you have to argue with people who claim that all of these trees down, only a hurricane could do it. You don't understand. You, you, you are willfully ignorant about the geoengineering and the spraying of toxic chemicals and heavy metals that are killing our trees. So, slight winds can bring down trees now. But most a lot of the homes are fine or have minimal damage and a lot of the damage is caused by the trees falling over. I don't know what to make of what we are hearing and what we are seeing. You know, I got a comment from somebody who said this hurricane blew over trains. Well, you know, and also I got comments from people who were equating this with hurricane after seeing all of the damage. I'm sorry, I cannot equate this damage with the damage that we saw from Katrina or Andrew. But I want, I slowed this down because I needed to see the drone footage. So I'm also going to let you hear, you know, in uh, slow motion what they are saying. Topple trees and down power lines made some roads impassable. Some roads impassable. Um, this is a down power line and across the street there doesn't seem to be any destruction. The only way to reach the stranded was from the air. We took a helicopter ride with the Coast Guard team from Detroit. And the wreck. Look at all of these homes sitting right on the Gulf and many seem okay. The roads are not blocked and I'm not saying that roads are not blocked but I'm going to get into some of the articles that mainstream media is posting and I can't make sense of what I am reading, what I am seeing. Below was Staggering. This does not look staggering. This is a marina that they say has been devastated and the boats are sitting in their spot. This building got well half demolished and there's some Here's the marina. There's some destruction here and here. Off the nose here, this is pretty much devastated. I'm sorry, this is not devastated. Um, but look at the damage. I, I, the boats are sitting here. 
so the winds didn't, you know, flip over these boats. Something created the damage here, created the damage here, created the damage here. But there's no dis no destruction to this building, this building, this building, and these homes look intact. Wow! Look at that! Yeah. It's pretty. So, we're looking at what? I don't know what, what occurred here. And, you know, in truth by grace, has been saying that it was a targeted hit. I don't believe that this was a targeted hit of a hurricane. Something else was happening here. You don't even see, you know, any real destruction to the farm areas or just um, the grassy areas. You do see a lot of, you know, sand that washed up on the roads. But even these homes, some of these homes are intact. And you also, you see an awful lot of people using cell phones while you're watching these mainstream media broadcasts. They're watching, uh, you're watching people use cell phones as mainstream media, media is reporting that Wi-Fi is out in so many areas. And this is more, this is um, Mexico Beach. I don't know. It just, we're not seeing total devastation. We are seeing uh, an awful lot of lives have turned into a nightmare. But are these the cement slabs to homes? I also got comments from people who said they know this area and a lot of what you see in this area are trailers. So are these the cement slabs where people have put their mobile homes? Um, mobile homes would, well, with any kind of uh, hurricane, they can easily be flipped over, but as you can see, right smack on the Gulf. So this home didn't get hit too badly. Um, not sure if it got hit at all. These were the winds. And now they're going through the same drone footage of the area and cell phone the home was okay but the uh, a palm tree was down it looks like maybe a little bit of destruction look all I'm saying is that you would expect tremendous amounts of destruction, far more than what we are looking at. And again, let me preface, I feel badly for everyone who has to suffer the damages. But you know what? We're watching these events take place over and over. They're occurring more frequently. No, it's not climate change. We are at war. They are destroying coastal communities in particular because they don't want people on the coast. If you know anything about Agenda 2030 and the uh, transformation of the United States that, that has been going on for many, many years, transforming this country into mega regions you know, then you'll understand that, no, it's not just about targeting MAGA countries uh, or counties, but it's also about transforming the United States. Um, and 
you're looking at a home where I don't even know what you're looking at. Some flooding? What was this about? Okay, some flooding. In a home, a hurricane hits, you live on the coast, and that home actually did not look like the homes that you saw after Harvey, after the flood in Baton Rouge, the flooding that took place after Hurricane Florence left. Well, the mainstream media articles. We need answers. Florida residents increasingly desperate for food and shelter. These are not areas that are isolated. And as you can see, there are many roads open. How is it that this destruction comes about, was it Monday? And they're now desperate for food and water and supplies. It took us about five days to finally get trucks in there. The brutal storm turned its coast to rubble in the Florida panhandle. Well, I have seen many videos of people posting on the hurricane. And one, I've got to pause you. It's Kimmy. I guess these, uh, are they in junior high or high school? These kids who live on the Panhandle, um, all of them are reporting on the hurricane, Hurricane Michael. And you know how they're reporting? Kind of like that Weather Channel guy. They start saying, oh, we've got heavy winds, and you see a slight breeze in the trees. Um, they got a little bit of rain, no destruction. The winds begin to pick up. They're outside. They're reporting on this. And it looks like they're all kind of mocking, um, you know, the, the weather channel guy. Yeah, well, this girl clearly is. Um, what kind of world are we leaving these kids? where everything is just a friggin' lie, and they know it. Nothing happened in this area. I've heard from people in the Panhandle, not in Panama City or Mexico Beach, but many people in Tallahassee, in other areas of the Panhandle, and they're fine. Now, I'm not saying that no one got affected outside of that 23-mile zone demarcated by In Truth By Grace. But to suggest that the panhandle, the brutal storm, turned the coast to rubble, and they... Oh, sorry. But they keep repeating the same pictures and film footage. And in reading this, residents said that they were becoming desperate for even basic necessities as of Friday afternoon. They had no government help. What can I do? I'm not angry. I just want some help. Are you kidding? Uh, desperation grew in Panama City. Long lines formed for gas and food across the battered coastline. Those who were poor, trapped, and isolated sent out pleas for help. Now, they're saying thousands of people are missing. So, are we to think that so many people did not evacuate? 16, I think, as of my last check, 16 people had died, five of whom are from Virginia live in Virginia. Um, I think that they are grossly exaggerating the thousands of people who have been reported missing by friends and family. And the other thing that I want to point out is people get really stressed 
when you've lived a comfortable life and then suddenly something upturns that comfort and you can't get that comfort back really fast you will be amazed at how many people will get very stressed so apparently um, people were beginning to exhibit rather aggressive behavior and they were here tensions were occasionally high as people waited for their first hot meal since Tuesday so they didn't get a hot meal in a couple of days and that's enough to raise the tension well it is actually when you combine the loss of everything that you have owned um, some restaurants opened up and began grilling food for people so can I assume that they just didn't lose power because if for days they had no power their meats that they were grilling on their grills were not refrigerated for days um, damage to aircraft I guess that was that one plane that flipped over something very strange is happening and I really, I just can't piece it together. And of course, my computer is um, slow. Well, thousands of people have been informally reported missing to local authorities. Florida Panhandle is largely populated by small towns spread out across dense forested areas, which only worsened post-disaster communication problems when cell phone towers and internet services went out. Well, I've been watching videos since the hurricane left the panhandle and I've been seeing an awful lot of people on their cell phones um, not saying that the cell phone um, service was uh, not spotty but something very strange has taken place and I will tell you if thousands of people are missing that is very concerning but Mainstream media claiming that the Florida panhandle, the entire panhandle got hit, that is an abject lie. The state was standing down from stepping up a temporary mortuary, 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 uh, a sign that mass casualties, at least thus far, have not been found. Okay. I am sorry to anybody to everyone who has had to suffer the consequences of these psychopathic evil people who are turning people's lives into a nightmare at a rapid pace. But I will tell you, it may absolutely feel like Katrina to those who have lost everything. But this still is not, uh, sorry, I still cannot equate the damage that I've been seeing to Katrina. All links are below.